Hey everybody, welcome back. Great that you're watching. We're going to talk about the sense of taste now. And you can follow along in your textbook on page 130 and it's section 5.6. So, taste. Let's dive in. Okay. The sense organ, obviously, is the tongue and the stimulus are called flavors. Remember the stimulus for your nose is odors. The stimulus for your tongue, flavors. And what are flavors? Flavors are certain chemicals in food and drinks that the sensory receptors in your tongue are sensitive to. The sensory receptors are called taste buds. In Dutch, smaakpapillen. I like the word taste buds better. So if you magnify one taste bud, this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's a sensory receptor. And so, in this case, it turns flavors into nerve impulses that go to your brain. Now, your taste buds can detect only five main flavors. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. And you may not have heard about umami yet. So, what is umami? Umami is difficult to describe. If we would translate it in Dutch, you could say hartig. So you can find this in tomatoes, in tofu, in meat, seafood, and cheese. You may not have heard about it because it was discovered about a hundred years ago. And nobody really talked about it much. So it's a kind of recent discovery. And it was discovered by a Japanese scientist, which is why umami sounds Japanese. Now, think about this. If your tongue can only detect five flavors. What does that mean? Now, let's talk about sweet. Now, what is sweet in this world? Well, maybe candy or ice cream. Let's talk about ice cream. It's summer, almost. I wish. Anyway, sugar is in ice cream. But what else is in ice cream? Flavors like strawberry flavor and orange flavor and chocolate flavor and so forth. But to your tongue, all it tastes like is sweet because your tongue has no taste buds for chocolate and no taste buds for orange and no taste buds for strawberry so to your tongue it's just sweet weird isn't it now taste without smell is weird and boring you can only taste five flavors without the help of smell. So taste and smell work together. And maybe you've noticed this because when you have a cold and your nose is stuffed, there's no odors getting into your olfactory cells. So what does that mean? Well, you cannot really smell, but you also cannot really taste very well. And you can actually do an experiment. You can try, for instance, to blindfold somebody or yourself and then put some tomato ketchup on your nose and also pinch your nose, right? So you pinch your nose, you blindfold yourself, you put some tomato ketchup on your tongue and then afterwards you put some mustard on your tongue. I am betting that you cannot really detect the difference. So taste and smell have to work together. How does that actually work? Well, look at this picture. It looks complex, but it really isn't. So let's, let me explain this. So here's your tongue, and on your tongue you have taste buds. And here's your nose, and in your nose you have olfactory cells. Now, if you look inside your head, you can see that your tongue area and your mouth and your nose area are actually connected. There's an open space. So when you taste food and it gets onto your tongue, some of the flavors get into your tongue but some of the odors of your food get into your throat and they travel up to your olfactory cells and then your olfactory cells detect the odors in your food while your tongue at the same time detects the flavors in your food and so the combination of that helps your brain to understand what it is exactly that you're tasting is it strawberry ice cream or chocolate ice cream. So, here's another example. When you eat a spoonful of soup, soup 
releases chemicals that travel up your nose, so those are the odors, and travel up your throat. Those are also odors, but also some flavors stay on your tongue. Olfactory cells and taste buds detect those chemicals and they combine and send signals over to your brain. And then your brain interprets the messages of the olfactory cells and of the tongue and the taste buds together. And that helps you understand the exact flavor and the exact taste of your food. So is that amazing? Okay, that was it for today. So go ahead to your workbook on page 134 until 136 and do assignments 31 until 34. Okay, so make photos of those, copy and paste it into a Word document and send it off to your teacher. That's it for today. Have a great day. Bye. And now it's time for some ice cream.